If you would like to invest for your future self and scale back from work someday, but you're unfamiliar with setting up a retirement account, then you found the perfect video because in today's video, I will be breaking down what a Roth IRA is and how you can open one. In addition, I will be sharing a trick that is perfect for beginners who still don't know how to allocate their investments. I always had a hard time trying to understand the different types of retirement account because there are so many. Besides, whoever was in charge of putting those names together did not do a good job. So I know it's easy to get them mixed up. But today we're only focusing on Roth RAs and if you pay attention, you will never forget what I will teach you now. The name Roth in a retirement account indicates that you will fund your account with after-tax dollars. This means that taxes will be paid now, not in the future. So Roth indicates that taxes will be paid now. For example, with a traditional IRA and a 401k, you will pay taxes on your investments when you retire, but you will pay taxes now with a Roth RA and a Roth 401k. The word IRA means an individual retirement account. It is set up between you and an investment firm. No one else is involved. Your employer is not involved. You will handle it. Now combining these two concepts, a Roth IRA is a retirement account set up between you and an investment firm. Taxes are taken out before the money is invested. Therefore, you won't pay taxes when you withdraw during your retirement. Instead, your money will grow tax-free. Now notice that I have said that a Roth IRA is a retirement account, not an investment. As a retirement account, it will hold your assets. Let's say that this box is my retirement account, which I will use to keep my stocks, my bonds, my mutual funds, commodities, etc. Now, you may be asking yourself, why open a retirement account? Why not invest in a regular brokerage account? Because retirement accounts were created to offer you a tax incentive, a benefit, an advantage, which means more money for saving and investing. So good. As you should know by now, the advantage of having a Roth RA is that when you retire, you won't pay taxes on the money that you withdraw, regardless of what tax bracket you will be in. Too good to be true, right? That is because on the other hand, retirement accounts offer less flexibility and you have to qualify to open one. Here are some essential points about Roth RAs. First is that you can withdraw the contributions, which is the amount that you deposit into your account anytime, tax-free and penalty-free. But you can only have access to the full amount that is in your account, which includes your profit once you reach age 59 and a half and have held your account for at least five years. Otherwise, you will have to pay a penalty of 10% because you're withdrawing the money too early and you will also have to pay income taxes on your profits. Regarding the penalty, some exceptional cases would exempt you from having to pay for it. Like if you had to withdraw for a down payment on your first home purchase, if you had to fund higher education, or if you had medical bills and you were unemployed. However, it would be best if you were not counting the money in your retirement account for short term goals. This account is for you to fund your retirement. If you have other goals in life, open a separate account. Another rule is that there is a limit to how much you can deposit into your account. As of 2022, the contribution limit is $6,000 and if you're 50 or older, you can contribute up to $7,000. What will determine your contribution limit is how much you make per year. For example, to fully contribute $6,000, a single filer must earn less than $129,000 per year. The contribution limit is reduced if your income is between $129,000 and $144,000. If it's more than $144,000, no contribution is allowed. But Americans earn on average $70,000, so most of us will qualify to contribute up to $6,000 per year. Don't forget to check these numbers every year as it might change, and also it will vary according to your filing status. Now that I have explained what a Roth IRA is, you might be still wondering why you should open one besides the fact that your money will grow tax-free. 
Some reasons will be that your job does not offer a retirement plan, that you are self-employed, or that you have maxed out the retirement plan at work and you would like to contribute more. Rather, for this or other reasons, opening a Roth IRA is easy. The first step is to pick a brokerage firm, which could be Fidelity, Vanguard, or any other, and you will check the type of retirement accounts they offer and select Roth IRA. Next, it will ask you for some basic information, such such as your ID, a social security number, and it will also ask you for a bank account number to transfer the money. Once your account is open, you must pick which stocks, bonds, and funds will be bought in the account. You must select the investment types and decide how much will be allocated. Otherwise, the money that you send to your retirement account will not be invested and will not earn interest. Now, this is where I'm gonna share a trick for those who don't have a desire to monitor their investments constantly or those who still don't know how to do so. Because when you do the investment yourself, you have to understand what you're buying, you have to diversify to adjust the proportions of each financial product, and you have to understand what is best for you in the long term. Instead of picking the investment yourself and adjusting as you age, you can choose to invest in target date funds. Target date funds, also known as retirement funds, offer many different types of financial products and it will select and diversify your investments based on when you plan to retire. So basically what I wanna say is, do you see this box which represents my retirement account with everything in it? I don't have to go there and pick individual items because my target date fund will do that job for me. Just know that the younger you are, the more stocks a target day fund will have. Over the years, it will pick more of this, will pick less of that, and will adjust your portfolio as you age. All right, so how do you do to pick a target date fund? It's very simple. Let's say that I plan to retire in 2060. I will simply go to my brokerage account, open my Roth IRA, and look for target date funds 2060. Now, a minimum amount might be required for you to buy your target date fund. It will depend with who you open an account with. But sometimes this minimum could be waived if you agree to set up a monthly contribution. This means that money will be transferred automatically from your checking account and invested in the fund. Everything will be automated. There is no reason for you not to be investing money in your retirement. If you have made it this far and found some value in this video, don't forget to hit the like button and share it with everybody you know. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. Bye.